Hi all. High volume injections have been used for various conditions associated with uh, nerve entrapments. In this video, we will be discussing its use related to post-surgical adhesions. Adhesions between nerves and surrounding tissue are common, regardless of the procedural location in the body. The fibrous bonds between the nerve and tissue can cause complications including severe chronic pain and the increased need for redo surgeries which may include surgeries to release these adhesions. I use high volume injections prior to uh, contemplating a, a surgical release. Our patient Ruth has had numerous surgical procedures by an orthopedic colleague involving lateral ankle ligament repair, excision of a deep perineal neuroma, a Morton's neuroma excision, and also perineal tendon repair. Scar or fibrosis about the surgical site can alter normal nerve function. Ruth presented with uh, the sensation of fire ants and numbness surrounding these surgical sites. This is the chat uh, that we had with Ruth um, prior to uh, performing the high volume injection. Hi guys, we have Ruth here. Ruth, can you tell me exactly what, how all this started your foot and leg pain? What's the history behind it? The history behind it is I had several sprained ankles, my right ankle, and eventually I had to have an ankle reconstruction. And at the same time, I had what they call, uh, can I point? Yeah, sure can. Yeah. A, a nerve bundle here before the operation, they refer to it as a nerve bundle. Uh -huh. And I would like, it would send my whole leg, foot crazy with this irritation. <laughs> And so when I had the ankle reconstruction, they did the nerve bundle, I don't know, mm -hmm. they cut it out or whatever mm -hmm. they did, but then anyway, there's massive scar tissue as a result. And even so the intensity of the irritation went, mm -hmm. it still exists. Yep. And then same, I'd had a Morton's neuroma. I think we can see that incision yes. there. You can see And that the incision for the Morton's neuroma. And how was that operation? Well, I have. How was your recovery? My recovery was not great. It was, um, and there's a basically the whole area is numb and just a massive scar tissue. Mm -hmm. And after, oh, but backtracking a bit, I think that was first. Then that happened. Then that happened. And then I had a fall not long after I'd had the well, fell in a pond after the ankle reconstruction, okay. and I damaged it. And um, they cut the nerve to, from to this big toe. Mm -hmm. We can see that scar here. Yes. And then what happened after that? Once that nerve was um, so, you're saying that that nerve was excised? Yes. Well, since then everything has been. I, it's not pain. It is uh, awareness. It's discomfort. It's irritation. Mm -hmm. It's very uncomfortable. So, Maui, would you be able to just mark the indie where we can see the existing incision lines? Yep. So the incision and the irritation then goes up through... Looks like it starts about there. A bit further up the leg. It, it keeps going up. There. Irritation. That's probably one incision the, there. Yep. Probably the worst is the... Then we've got one down this here. This here. This is bad. Starts about there. That's bad. And how would you rate your pain out of 10 normally from day to day? But it's not normal. What I do every night is I bandage my foot so it doesn't annoy me. <laughs> if I didn't have it bandaged, it annoys. I, my heel is completely numb and that's annoying. And there's <laughs> some little incisions on either side there. Yep. Which is and kind of why I'm here. So all of those sites cause you that, that discomfort. And how are you normally during the day compared to nighttime when you're walking around? If I walk, I'm fine. I'm better moving. And at rest? It just irritates. And, and describe that irritation for us. I know describing nerve pain can be difficult. It's very difficult because it's like having something creeping and crawling around your skin that you can't get. So it's, it's like 
that's so creeping and crawling like ants like I have I just call on um, sometimes it's like crazy alien fire ants or something mm-hmm. going up and down and being mm-hmm. so it's not pain it's a really horrible sensation all the time you cannot get rid of you can't get rid of it but the compression of yeah. when you it Pressure. decreases it yes and I, I think this is our third. I think this is our third time doing this, but we have been. Fourth, isn't it? Is it not the fourth one? Is it? So we've been doing high volume injections mm-hmm. along that um, that that scar tissue mm-hmm. along those um, nerve pathways. How much um, pain relief were you getting? Um, how, how how long does it make you feel better? That's yes, what I'm trying to say. it does. I get each time I've improved. So this last one, I think, was about three months. And and three months, do you mean the the creepy crawly feeling? It, it seems to go. Just go away. Go away. So for a, for a total of three months. Well, it it starts to come back around, not badly, around two two and a half months. Mm-hmm. Not badly, and then as we're getting closer, you know, mm-hmm. long, it starts to get back to what it was. Gotcha. I had a couple of coffee this morning. Okay. But it even, but I uh, said what it was, it's not as bad as it was, it was before we started, should I say that? Right, so it's it the creepy core of feeling is, not, is, as is not as intense as it was initially. All right, um, Ruth, thanks very much for the history. We're going to um, see you inside the theatre room, and then I'll video what we do. Thanks, Steve. Just, just do as much as you want. All right, done. <laughs> Let's have a look at the nerves that have been uh, affected by these adhesions. The first one is the superficial perineal nerve. Ruth did mention that this nerve was excised, but I couldn't find a report that actually stated that. Uh, the next one is the deep perineal nerve, and there was a report saying that a deep perineal neuroma was excised. Uh, then the sural nerve. Uh, this would have been related to the lateral uh, ligament repair. And the third intermetatarsal space where the Mons neuroma was excised. The injection technique is relatively straightforward. Uh, You just have to follow the basic principle that it's the fluid that's been injected and not the needle that is the tool used to separate the soft tissue. The fluid is incrementally separating the soft tissue in front of the needle. Followed by movement of the needle tip into that resultant fluid space. Uh, Using the same entry point if you can, pivot the needle uh, to the most proximal and distal part of the nerve and then just repeat it along its length. Uh, For my colleagues that are more interested in the nitty gritty, I'm going to let Maui discuss uh, the potential benefits of uh, decompression on the Nervi Nervorum Vaso Nervorum um, or uh, on uh, lymphatic drainage. So the reason why these, um, not the reason why, these are high volume injections are really designed to break up any of the adhesions between um, scar tissue and some of the free nerves in the area. Um, these free nerves generally will supply the, the main nerves um, and generally are referred to as the nervi nervarum. Uh, these nervi nervarum are located around the um, epineurium, so outside of the epineurium, and they're generally responsible for um, innovating um, and regulating function and discharge of pain signals, both in the sensory, motor and mixed um, modality nerves. We've also got, probably not so specific to this anatomy, but in general you will have some um, vasum nervarum, so the blood vessels that supply the nerves, and these blood vessels will include arteries that supply nutrients um, to the nerve, and also veins which will drain away um, any of the metabolites uh, from the area. Any sort of scar pressure or pressure generally can cause these um, these veins or venous outflow to be impeded and result in stasis and toxin buildup in the area which can result in pain and 
dysfunction of those nerves. And the other thing that can, cause, that can happen is you can get pressure on the uh, lymphatic system, which is also located throughout, um, outside of the uh, epineurium. And just to backtrack, the vasa nervarum is also located outside of the uh, epineurium as well. So by breaking up some of these adhesions, you can potentially reduce some of the pressure, increase uh, flow of blood to the area, increase recovery, um, and provide some sort of um, relief. Generally speaking, the fact that this particular case um, gets relief is possibly uh, an indication that this sort of pain is caused because of some sort of a neuropraxia, and uh, potentially, uh, with a big question mark over the top, without Wallerian degeneration. So there's no physical um, partition in the nerve and breakdown of, of the nerve itself. Nice moment. Well, this uh, pretty much rounds up the video. Uh, at the end, I massage um, all the injection sites and then apply a very simple island dressing over the top. I'd like to thank uh, Moe for assisting me on the day and also to Luke, um, who was a stage one registrar, uh, for helping uh, with the filming. Thank you for watching.